This is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of our programming language series. Uh, in from my previous video, I have started with the topic called visualization. So, in continuation of that same topic, we're gonna talk about today the scatter plot. In the previous video, I have talked about the bar plot. So, in this video, I'll be just uh, going with another basic plot uh, which can be plotted without using any package. It's called scatter plot. So, what is scatter plot? So, scatter plot can be used to compare variables, right? The comparison between variables is required when we need to define how how much one variable is affected by another variable for that purpose we use the scatter plot so what is scatter plot and how we can uh, draw this uh, for this this is the syntax we have to follow with the regular plot function in which we have this lot of parameters available if you want to know the meaning of these parameters for that simply open up your r console and simply put a question mark and write plot when you press enter you will be getting this uh, choose one so uh, for that we have to just select on the default scatter plot function and press ok and here you will be getting all the points here right what is x and y axis it represent x and y coordinates mean means the main title right x limit means the limits of the uh, the scaling of the x axis right y limit uh, limits y limits it means y axis limits right and the same way we have our x lab labels y labels right axis means a logical value indicating whether both axes should be drawn on the plot or not so it means a lot of stuff available and from this a little uh, question mark plot you'll get to know what is the meaning of every little thing right so let's uh, move it further let's see it here how we can draw a simple regular plot for that i'm using two vectors here because i've already told you it is used to compare or used to check how one variable is affected by another variable for that i'm just uh, having two vectors available and with the help of plot function without using any other uh, parameter like x label y label let's draw a regular plot in this case let's do it so in this case i got the answer straight away it's a scatter plot you can see a lot of small dots here right uh, here and there this is called as a scatter plot again it's not a meaningful plot why because there's no y axis no x axis nothing i'm not able to understand like what is going on here so let's add some information to it with this uh, we are adding information in the next point in which we are adding the title with the help of main function we are adding a x label and y label respectively so let's let's add the information to existing graph for that let's uh, run it again in this case i'm having uh, the more information available so let's do it so in this case you can see it here you can see the uh, y label x label and result got added which was not available in the previous attempt so this is a little more informal uh, more uh, informative uh, graph in which we get to know that what the x axis represent and what what the y axis represents here right moving it further so again i'm um, here i'm um, what i'm doing here i would try to compare both the things together so uh, we got this uh, in in the both the cases uh, you must have observed that the only the uh, uh, the plot got shown but there's no comparison made let's try to compare two things okay two different uh, stuff that's why we are having x1 y1 it's my kind of a one variation one uh, like a, com uh, a comparison between this x1 y1 and y x2 y2 respectively for that if you want to plot two scatter plots consecutive like on the top of it we have to use the points function right so in this case only two things are new one is uh, cex cex meaning is like you want to uh, increase the uh, like you know, size of that uh, the small small circles that got printed in the scatter plot it can be done with the help of cex and points meaning is i've already told you if you want to show the comparison like uh, with the different colors right maybe one will be representing with the red one is representing with the blue this is possible with the help of points let's do it here let's run this complete script here x1 y1 earlier we were doing what that we were just plotting a single thing right so we were having x axis y axis and we were giving the values and the plot got uh, like drawn if you want to compare right maybe between the first day uh, responses versus second day responses this can be done with the help of this points function in which two scatter plots will be plotted on the same same uh, surface let's do it here so let me come uh, close this uh, window and let me rerun this script here with the help of points function i'm able to get the two stuff okay let's do it here enter and if i press enter you can see it here there are blue small circles there are red circles and in this time around you can see the circles are of a bigger shape right it's possible with the help of cex parameter here right this is the meaning of uh, comparing two things together right this is the another example now last point is uh, again in this case what more variation we are trying it here like we try to save the result okay we want to export this in my home location right with the help of png right i want to have a png for, uh, format image of this uh, particular plot i want to save it is possible with the help of png function another thing we are doing it here we are saving with the def uh, de dave dot off 
and uh, plus we are also adding the limits x limits and y limits earlier it was all decided by the system that how this uh, limits will be there right but now we are restricting that that the limit should be 2.5 to 5 and the y limit should be from 15 to 30 actually we uh, for this example we are extracting two columns from empty cars which is inbuilt data set right and we are uh, plotting weight versus mpg means mileage versus uh, weight and we are specifying that the weight should be uh, between 2.5 to 5 of the car and uh, of this uh, right and the y limit should be from means uh, the mileage should be from 15 to 30 right let's do it here the last uh, little example uh, with the empty cars as a base so let's do it here enter and you can see it here at very bottom this is the okay let me okay let me check now whether i got this uh, plot available or not in my home location so i need to go in my home location this is my home location let's check out in the scatter plot is available or not with the s it is a alphabetically thing available let's go with the scatter plot so um scatter sc right this is available right you can see it here it's definitely available and this is the weight versus mill whatever we have given mileage versus weight it has got printed and you can see the limits here it is from 15 to 30 it is from 2.5 to 5 it is possible with the x lim and y lim respectively right so this marks the end of this video in which we have learned how we can plot the scatter plot in the r see you in next video guys thank you